Lexus's LFLC concept may turn into a real car. I'm a real car. Right? <laughs> Porsche's new entry level model will be a minimalist creation. The US Alfa Romeo 4C eats a couple Twinkies. And Bentley's SUV is spied, but they want you to spy it. Okay. Plus, it's Friday, so you know we have some rapid fire news. Bang. Oh! Well, no. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and I've said it once, I've said it over a thousand times. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, Friday edition. Oh, yeah, Friday. Hey, now. On a Friday. Oh, that's cute. It's Friday. Oh, yeah. Right? Like to have fun. All right. A couple weeks ago, Bentley teased its upcoming SUV with that little teaser, remember? With like the lights and stuff. Now, some spy shots have come along from leftlanenews.com showing the exterior, which, even though it's sort of covered, you can basically see what the thing is going to look like. And I'm pretty sure they wanted you to, because as you could see, there's a huge sign on it that says newbentley.com. That basically says, hey, look at me. Go to this website. Check me out. <laughs> The world's most luxurious and powerful SUV, as Bentley is calling itself, takes some design from the Flying Spur sedan while riding on the platform for the next generation VW Touareg. The uh, well-known 6-liter twin-turbo V12 will be the only option at first, then a hybrid option coming later, and the 4-liter V8 following that. When it launches in 2016, pricing will start at somewhere above $200,000. So yeah, you bought a Bentley for over 200 grand, but just know the bones of it are a Touareg. So when you pull up to that Touareg next to you, just know you got the same bones. Not saying it's a bad thing. Hmm. I'm just saying. Chassis, bones. Despite the Alfa Romeo 4C looking oh, so delicioso. Mwah. Right, AK? Yes. Its other best quality is that it's extremely light. And for you race-minded folk, hey, that's a great thing. At just under 2,000 pounds and with 237 horsepower on tap, the car absolutely flies. So of course we're excited that it's coming to the U.S. As we saw it, you know, most recently at the New York Auto Show. Well, here's some bad news. The U.S. version was put on, well, has put on a few pounds in the process. 342 pounds to be exact, and that's due mostly to the safety regulations here in the United States. That brings the weight up to over 2,300 pounds, yeah, it sucks, but, but here's the thing, people. The car is still going to be an absolute blast to drive. And if you get in an accident, I'm hoping you don't, of course, you'll be a little more protected. It's still a win-win in my book. Then again, I don't have a book. But you get what I'm saying, I hope. Yeah. Right? It's still going to be fun. Oh, I'm not getting that car. The weight of it. Prices will start at 55,000 bucks for the standard car, or you can opt for the launch edition with sport exhaust and upgraded suspension and some other goodies in there. In other news, the movie Alf Romeo has been delayed. Alf, because uh, I think some copyright things going on there. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And Alf. The puppet he's, Alf he's, was yeah, like the 1980s? Cats. I thought that was the copyright issue. Yeah. Romeo is the copy. What's, what's holding it up? Shakespeare yeah, it is Romeo. suing. Yeah, Shakespeare is suing Alf. Some new details are coming in about Porsche's upcoming entry-level model, the 718. It will be a minimalist roadster based on the Boxster, but with fewer luxury bits and a little different styling. There may be a manual soft top and plastic rear window to keep weight and production costs down. Hmm. Sounds kind of Miata-ish, doesn't it? Well, weight will reportedly be around 2,623 pounds, or about as light as a Lotus Exige S Roadster. Power is looking like a turbo two liter making 286 horsepower and 295 pound feet of. Torque. That's right. There may also be a second option, a 2.5 liter turbo four making 360 horsepower and 347 pound feet of. Torque. That's right. No word yet on the third option, which of course is called, oh wait, maybe I should just buy a Boxster with pound feet of common sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, remember that LFLC concept from Lexus? Mm. Of course you do. Is this sexy beast? No, not the Predator. 
yeah, the Predator's, I know the grill looks like the Predator's mouth. The Lexus grill looks like the Predator's mouth. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, anyway, the LFLC may finally see the light of day, and not as the successor for the LFA, but rather as a resurrection of the SC name. The production car will use carbon fiber and aluminum to keep weight down, and it will be faster than the RCF Coupe. The 5 liter V8 from the RCF will make 482 horsepower in the new SC, and that will be linked to a 10 speed automatic. 10 speed. Remember that? Acura with 9, 10 now. Wow. There's also a hybrid version planned with 506 horses. We'll see the car revealed at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, so don't get too excited. Future news strikes again. Yeah. Before it happened. All right, I'm down with the quickness. I heard that. For some rapid fire news. Bang. Ooh! <clears throat> what happened? <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? Dead Mouse was pulled over in France in his Ferrari Ferrari during the Gumball 3000. Can't drive until they hit Spain. Must be a pain. Ain't that right, little, ain't that right, little Wayne? Oh, yeah. Avzal Khan selling his F1 license plate for 10 million pounds. That 16.8 million US dude looks like an elf. You and your license plate can go F1 yourself. Ever want to see a motocross rider jump over a biplane? Sure you do. Pretty insane. And if you gotta say out loud, race car, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. If you wanna get in trouble by your boss, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of droppage of that car right there. Yeah, yeah. And that is your rapid fire news. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh my god. Was that from Is everyone okay in here? So I got a AK's got a weird gun. He's got a weird, that's a strange, yeah. strange gun. All right, moving on to our FLD question of the day. If you had $200,000 to spend, would you buy a Bentley SUV? Hell, if I needed an SUV, I would just buy a loaded up Ford Explorer or something for 40K and have 160,000 bucks left over to do whatever I want with. Maybe buy a, you know, an Audi S5 or something and still have a ton of cash still left over. Right. Go on vacation. I don't know. Get a couple dirt bikes. Nice. Get some dirt bikes. Right? I'd get a Volkswagen Touareg. A Volkswagen? Yeah. Get a VW Touareg. That loaded up is what? 50? Hello. Still got 150 Gs to mess around with? Yeah. What would you guys do? Huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and let us know. Of course, you can send your own in to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. That's right, AK. That'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today, this and this week. Right? I'm Derek D. And let's go Rangers! Yeah! yeah. Clutch yeah. win on Wednesday night. Hope they can catch another W in L.A. tonight for Game 5. Oh, Derek. Rangers suck. Hmm. Take it to Game 7. Get that dub. Say goodnight, L.A. Hey, all right. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Erica will put you to sleep. Yeah! <laughs> Real quick, try to hit that 10th gear, right? From, yes. from zero to the 10th gear. <laughs> <laughs> Once took a trip to Singapore and brought along his spray paint and wind. He finally came back. He had red marks all over his bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We cut. Yeah, cut. Okay. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby. You can view how you choose to fastlanedaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.